Hey, this is Robert with Clean Pool and Spa, and in this video, I get to clear up another pool. Now, maybe you recognize this one. Uh, I cleared this up one time, and due to some unforeseen circumstances, the pool owner was not able to care for it uh, the way it needed to be cared for, and so it's a bit cloudy, and there's lots of debris in the water, but not to worry, because within a couple days, this thing is going to be absolutely perfectly crystal clear, and balance once more now before I did anything I took the readings uh, and I'll go ahead and put them up on the screen but the chlorine was at zero uh, combined chlorine zero pH was at 8.4 uh, alkalinity at 100 calcium hardness was high at 300 this is Florida we have high hard fill water and the cyanuric acid was at zero uh, but the first thing that I'm going to do before I do anything is to get all of this uh, Let's see there's lots of leaves and just grit and uh, stuff out of the pool that's the first thing that i want to do because um, i want all the chlorine to go to kill the algae and the bacteria not to attach itself to any of those leaves so this is how i'm going to clean it now this is a de filter and what we're going to do is uh, take the grids out clean them and then recharge them with de because we want the best filtration possible. Uh, anytime that you're doing anything like this, be sure that your filter is cleaned out and backwashed. If you have a cartridge filter, spray that out every 12 hours. So we disassembled the DE filter, and you can see in there, uh, there's some DE floating around in there. Uh, what we're gonna do is take this apart and spray it off. You can see there's, there's quite a bit of buildup. Uh, right there and it's just it's really gritty so we're going to spray this off Marco thinks that uh, the DE is coming back into the pool so we're going to take this apart look for rips or tears and see what's going on all right so we went ahead and sprayed this off and this is what we found right here it is ripped which is allowing DE to go back into the pool so we have to take the top piece off and replace that. So we're again. This is what we found. Uh, we found several grids that have uh, tears in them. I think there's one. Yeah, there's one right here. And I think that one's good. Uh, Mark has been online, and we're probably gonna have to go either to the to the uh, pool store or go online and get some uh, new grids. All right, so here I have leaf bagger, and what I'm doing now is uh, just going very slowly across uh, the bottom of the pool and getting up as much um, <clears throat> of a larger debris as I can. So the pool is um, a little cloudy, as you can see, but what I used is the wonderful leaf bagger right here uh this is blue devil if you haven't seen my video on this but i just ran this around and as you can see that thing is just full of um debris and the reason that i like this thing so much is because i didn't have to vacuum any of that now with this because of the de filter and the tears uh the filter is going to be down for a few uh, I don't know, maybe about a day or so once we get these filters or the grids taken care of. So all of this is just going to go ahead and settle down. I can go ahead and vacuum that up later. So Marco has the new grids right here and we're going to go ahead and start disassembling uh, the DE filter and putting the new grids on. So you want... there we go. let's go ahead and do it. So first thing we do is just take off the manifold here. And um, now the most important thing to remember is... Uh, to not do these all at once, you just want to take one grid out and then replace it. That way uh, you're not going to mix it up. So we'll go ahead and show you how that's done. So this is what we're doing. Uh, we're just taking it one out at a time to show Marco doing that. And so you can see the, the hole right there that's uh, caused the DE to go back into the filter. and. And he just puts that right down in the slot and 
like I said, this is just a very easy way to do it um, instead of taking them all out at once. And also, sometimes they'll put them in order for you as well. So we're just, we're just gonna go ahead and keep doing this. All right, so we're finished here, and we're just gonna go ahead and line these up. Gonna fit. All right, that fit pretty good. And uh, next is the top piece. All right, so we have the new grids in, and. As you can see they're all lined up, everything's hooked up, and we're going to go ahead and put the top on and uh, put some DE in. Alright, so we went ahead and fire it up, and we got the pressure right at about maybe 7 right there. So everything's good, and we're going to go ahead and put the DE in the skimmer. Alright, so we're charging up the uh, system with DE, and as you can see what Marco's doing is he has a cup. Uh, this this cup right here this is the DE cup and what he's not doing is is uh, digging down right there in the DE he's measuring it like flour uh, that way you get the best and then you know he goes ahead and does this tops it off this is the way you're supposed to do it so you can get the best measurement uh, if you just dig down in in the DE right in there with the DE scoop uh, you're not going to get the best measurement so I'm going to go ahead and back into waste uh, I'm popping off the water right now because uh, all this right here is going to be going straight into the filter if I don't. Uh, and also, when you're back in the waste, uh, the water level is going to drop very quickly. Uh, so, let's go ahead and get vacuum set up. I'm going to head and vacuum the waste, and you can see it is a little better. Uh, just wanted to do it as quickly as I could because it lose a lot of water when, when you do that. So the next order of business is to adjust uh, the pH and the cyanuric acid. Remember the pH was high at about 8.4 and the cyanuric acid was at zero. So before I shock the pool I need to adjust those two. Okay so I have the acid and I'll go ahead and pour this in the bucket. You always want to pour the uh, chemical to the water not the other way around and take take a stir stick stir it up the acid and broadcast it around the perimeter of the pool okay the next thing that I'm going to do uh, is add some stabilizer um, to the pool because the stabilizer was at zero. So it's one pound of stabilizer per 10,000 gallons to increase the stabilizer cyanuric acid 10 parts per million. And then pour it directly in the skimmer. So the acid is done, uh, the dichlor is done, and I'm just gonna sweep. And I'm gonna let this filter for 10 hours. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow morning to take the readings and see where we stand. So so it's the next day, uh, filter's been going for about maybe 18 hours now, and the pH is down to 7.4, and the cyanuric acid was still a little low at 10. So I put uh, a couple more pounds in, this is a 15,000 gallon pool. And what I've done is I've just swept everything from this side of the pool down to there because that's, that's uh, the only place where, where he has suction, is that one skimmer right there. So it makes vacuuming uh, a lot easier as well but as you can see it's cleared up even without shocking it it's already cleared up so I'll have Marco uh, shock tonight and we'll be, we'll be back tomorrow see what's going on so my job is almost done here what I'm going to do is to vacuum you see hose right there and this cleared up pretty good you can see a little bit of debris uh, right there but I did check the readings uh, chlorine held is about at 8 parts per million right now uh, pH is at 7.2, um, alkalinity is at 80, hardness is, I think it was at, still at 300, and the cyanuric acid is at 20. So I'm going to have Marco add maybe just a little bit more, uh, bring that up to 30 parts per million, 
and that is about it so my job is pretty much done here I'm gonna have him drop in uh, maybe about a gallon more chlorine uh, just to uh, be sure to get all this residual um, algae up I see a couple spots right over there but I'm gonna uh, vacuum and I'll be out of here I went ahead and vacuumed uh, everything is all ready to go and the pool went from this to this total chemical cost um, I figured up it was about fifteen dollars to clear this fifteen thousand gallon pool up about three days fifteen dollars and his kids will be swimming in a couple days so that's it my job is done uh, check out the description box below link to my website cleanpoolandspa.com lots of great information over there like subscribe and comment here and as always be safe Happy swimming. Bye.